We used to have big name local, not, not boxers, not uh, lawyers, you know, just Jezana, judges, lawyers, doctors come from Buko, not this, this, this kind of business. So Buko is a big name, not just because Buko is like bad area. No. All the boxers come from Buko. All the good boxers. My name is Coach Ofori Asari. I'm the head coach for the national boxing team. Ghana, we are bound with more talent, but what we need now is to have a capacity burden. We must have a plan, work from the district level to the regional as well as national, and then we get into the international world. My philosophy behind boxing is um, it's a tough sport. First, first and foremost, it's more mental than people think. And you have to be clever to actually do boxing, believe it or not, because the rate at which you think, or should I say the rate at which you have to outthink your opponent is so quick. It's a hard sport, but again, I always say to people, it's a vehicle to, for me to get somewhere, or let's say in a position where I can help other people. So with all the talent and the opportunities and the achievements so far, Education is probably, my faith is very important, but I say education is second, definitely, because I had to, after the Olympic medal, I had opportunity to not go back to uni, but I said I have to go back to uni. Let me say university, for those that don't know what uni is, but it was very important because you have to be educated. For me, university didn't teach, I studied business studies and sports science. If you ask me about any business plans, I may or may not have the answers, if you ask me to name what bone this is, I may or may not know the answer. But what it did teach me to do was to think outside the box, to ask questions that, you know, will give me the answers that I need, to, to find a way of how to ask them, to just gain just general knowledge about life and something new. When you come across something new, you have to ask questions to learn more about it. So education is very important. When you go into professional boxing, you're dealing with contracts, whether it's from your promoters, your managers, your sponsorships. So there's a lot of things that you deal with. And if you're not educated, you wouldn't know how to read or to write or to understand it. So I think education is very, very important as a boxer. My name is Michael Tete, a.k.a. Golden Mike. I was born in Accra in the suburb called Kolegono. The area of Kolegono that we live, we are fond of fighting as a youth when we are growing up. The big boys among us normally will come and say, literally meaning come and let's fight. As, as I grew up, I realized people are fighting for money and their likes. So I decided to do something about boxing. So I started moving to friends who are into boxing. Finally, I came to meet a guy called Alfred Tetemate of Princeton Baseline Boxing Promotions. He led me into boxing. And so through him, and ambition boxing promotions, Alayi Tofi, Ring Craft Promotion, John Kema, I became enthused about the sport. So I decided to go into boxing as a boxing promoter. One of the great boxers and boxing promotions I had was the fight between Brahma Kamoko Buku Bangun against Hector Velasco from Argentina. It was a night never to forgotten, and that was the name of the promotion that I had, a night to remember, and it was very great. Miss Isaac Zion Kojodogo. The dark side of boxing that nobody talks about. I think everybody sees all the flashiness, you know, after you win. Everyone like, yeah, it was a great fight, he's won, he's looking good, everything. Like but people don't really understand that boxing is a very, very lonely sport. Very lonely. Listen, and I'm speaking from experience. You can have so many people around you. But sometimes, with all that people around you, you just feel so empty. It's, it's mixed feelings. You know, sometimes you feel, you have the feeling of ecstasy, like that excitement. Because look, everybody likes to, be, likes to feel relevant. And some people, boxing makes them feel relevant. My name is Joseph King Konagbako. I was two times IBF world champion. Currently, WBO Bantamweight African champion. Boxing is not getting what it deserves in this country. To me personally, boxing is the biggest sport in Ghana. When it comes to professional boxing, Ghana has produced, I think, about nine or ten world champions. I think Ghanaians or the media is not treating it as they suppose. If the media talks about you enough, the government will do something 
about it. They don't promote us enough. I, they are doing their best to them. They are supporting us. They are doing their best for us. But I think we deserve more than that. My name is Eddie Papo. I'm an international ring official, a three-time African Boxing Union president. I'm also a member of the WBC ring officials. I think we're just about getting there because I saw quite a few when I went to South Africa, you know, giving uh, harness to their sporting uh, heroes, you know, especially in boxing. And uh, I think it's time for Ghana to embark on the same platform. I mean, we have guys like uh, giants, like uh, Refugee Anna, you know, who's done a lot for the sport in, in Ghana when it comes to uh, officiating. DK Poison as well, Nanaya Konedu, as one else in Ike Kwate, and a lot. I mean, you hardly hear of uh, Ghana organizing something or the sports ministry organizing something for them. You hardly hear of it. So... During that short span in boxing, when uh, they leave, there's nothing left for them. African boxers living abroad have an advantage because of the exposure it brings being abroad. Like boxing is bigger in other countries. For example, in the States, in the UK, boxing is bigger there, so automatically the exposure there is different. So if, if you're an African fighter living in you know, an African country, you're only known to, you know, the, the...